Tina Zungu is back. Y'all know Tina Zungu is a gospel musician and also has been put to be a pastor. Now, personally, I asked questions. I said that the theology of the Monday is not make sure it's not clicking. The dots are not <laughs> are not aligning. The dots are not linking up and stuff like that with the things that he teaches. Now, if you want me to show you that video, I'll leave that video in the description below where he was teaching something and I was like, what is he talking about here? It's just not making sense. But, hey, he's a musician and entertainer. But now, that's not the subject. There's been pictures that have resurfaced of Tina with the lady that we recently spoke about. Uh, this one here, Lulu Menziwa. The one who recently broke up a family, recently broke up a family and she was there making videos about, you know, the property, she wants to stay property and whatnot. The property that they have in their marriage, she, she would want, they must just fix up and get a divorce. Quickly, they must just do it quickly so that she can have a, another person's man. Okay, not her man. It's not. <laughs> so... This particular picture, Arias came out showing Tina. It's quite a concerning one, but until you then realize that picture, if you're actually putting in the light sense of the word, was one half because then there follows this picture here where he is kissing that same lady. And it's like, Mandem has been celebrating about 10 years of, of a relationship with his wife. And so, ish. Uh, this is a hectic one. But either ways, let's talk about that particular subject on this episode. It's the reality show, daily Christian commentary videos. If it's your first time over here, be sure. Check out the other videos that are down in the pink comments, and I'm going to check you out over there. Like I said, this picture concerning. If you saw the first one, you would have said, you know, laughing, laughing. They were maybe shooting an Instagram video. But then these pictures came up. Showing him now kissing. Now, it's not the only time. Maybe some of us say no, but, you know, if they just met once, you know, these things happen, you know, you meet once, and then people get excited. Nope. They did meet again. So, it looks like they, there was some type of a, and you can see here, it's very much, it's not a hidden camera. He was much aware of this camera. <laughs> it's not a hidden camera. <laughs> you, you were there. You were there. Now, that's the subject. People have brought out these things. Brought out these pictures to say, here is a so-called pastor or a minister of the gospel. Was thinking. Now, when Tino Zungu appeared on uh, SABC's Daily Theater, I did speak about his perception on his relationship with God. It's a very weird one. This whole prosperity gospel has messed up his perception on the true gospel. But... You can see how it then reflects here. Friendship with the world results into enmity with God. One starts straying his own path or treading his own path contrary to that which God has assigned. And so this is why these kind of things happen. Personally, I've said, Lulu Menzi is not a person of substance. It's not an insult. If a person has not shown any value outside of just showing off their body so that they can attract or lead people in, in, in an area of, of their weakness, uh, there's, there's no substance there. I will have substance, Jay. I will have substance. That's, that's, that's what I see when I see this. So now my question now is, so then... In your perspective, brotherhood, does this not does this not add? It wouldn't add because he has worldly friendships. Tina has too many worldly friendships. Too many friends with the world, Sangomas, what is you just don't know what's going on, which one is which one here? Because thingy. Okay, now I do wanna also address something here because uh, these particular pictures actually they've been shown that they are a little bit old it's just that we might be seeing them right now so when i did a little bit of digging i did find that these pictures are a little bit old here you can see these pictures posted in 2019 february the 7th and on this particular Debo account 
where you see all these pictures uh, in, in this group. Okay? Now, these pictures were not the only one. I did also see that there was a Daily Sun article addressing this, whatever is going on here. And also, the thing that they quote him saying in the, in the article, it's a very weird thing. You don't say things like, no, you know, everyone, you know, everyone has an affair. Hey, chief. <laughs> if, you are, if you are the one who's in, who's in error, address you. <laughs> you can't be addressing everyone. Are you everyone? You are not everyone. So you, when, you, when you are the one who is in error, you must say, I was in error. Da -da 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 -da. Leave everyone. Because you are not everyone. As I was saying, Tina has too many worldly friends. And this is why I believe it, 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 worldly friends will influence you to be like them. They will influence you towards these carnal things. To a place where even the people you are looking at as friends or the people that you are looking at to associate with worldly. Why? Because the people you hang yourself around. He says, -da 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 -da, corrupts good manners. Bad company corrupts good manners. So you can have an orderly way of life. The moment you introduce the world, boom. Zasha. Because they have certain disciplines they don't hold up to. They have certain disciplines that they, they just don't check. They don't question. They persist on in those passions or in those things that they pursue. And so when, when you are there and they are busy doing these things, they will end up influencing you in these ways. Do you know? Now, I think the, the family has dealt with it because it's been a while. Now, that's why I'm actually bringing up to, to say there's been articles which were written about it. It's just that probably this was by the time when we were not blogging here in the start of 20, 2018 or 2019 around that same period. And I think it probably didn't trend because 2019 February was the time of Aflukau, if you remember. And so that's why probably we didn't see much of it because there was... I mean like Elliot. <laughs> Elliot happened and so there was we were not thinking about anything. We were thinking Elliot the entire February into March. And so probably that's why I never saw this particular story. But if you keep terrible company when it comes to good morals, people that will uphold you towards good morals, what will end up happening is that it will lead you in a path in which you have only You know, I used to have a mentor. He used to, he used to like saying, you know, foolishness is a way of teaching <laughs> food. So meaning wisdom teaches the believer or wisdom teaches the wise. But foolishness or decisions of foolishness teaches the fool. By fool, we don't mean Islam. By fool, we mean a person who is a... Who, who, who behaves himself like an unbeliever? A person whose life, life, lifestyle or lifeline is unchanged towards a certain path. Experience teaches that person. You don't need to experiment to, to experience in order for you to know to keep away from people that will corrupt good morals. It's very important we note these things. These are part of discipleship. Now, because discipleship is no longer popular, we have a very worldly church. Now, when you say discipleship, when you call out people, yeah, 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 you have kids. <laughs> I call them kids. You know, this one's <laughs> I still babes in faith. And so they just, <laughs> they perceive being nice as being Christian. My <laughs> child, calm down. You, know, you go to those churches, oh, Hillsong, you know, <laughs> preach love, laugh. All you know is love, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so they do not have correction. They will have it when it suits them. You are childish. You are, <laughs> you are childish. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. But if one professes themselves to be a child of God, a disciple in particular, they must understand this with proper context. If you bring around bad influence, it will influence you. That's why I was asking, you see, Pashin Java, who claims to be a pastor, 
who claims to be a prophet, and you see so means. You just you just look, you ask yourself. So what? What gives? Because one must compromise. The question is who. And we know so means does not. So means left the church because they preached something <laughs> that hurt his feelings. And so that other one we know he preaches after his own feelings. If you put worldly people before you, it will bring corruption. And corruption will taint your line of life. This is what I see here. Don't need to be having stories like this. Okay? Yes, this particular story is old. As we are seeing it today, we are addressing it now. This comes up because one refuses to walk in a line of of discipleship with those that are of faith. The Bible says, pursue godliness with them that are of the faith. Instead of pursuing fun, pursuing happiness, pursuing the next dance, the next Ama piano event, you know, uh, it says pursue with those who pursue after godliness. Worldliness brings this type of things. It brings this shameful article. Brings up pictures like this. Stray yourself away from such things. Start you added show daily Christian commentary videos. Other videos done today will be down in the pink comments and I'm gonna check you out over there. Please let's walk in the light. Mustn't be like those that walk in darkness. Canal as canal can be. I don't remember Lulu Mingua ever being a person of reason that I could say, oh, she says something of reason. I've never heard her say anything of reason. That's the only thing. No, nothing, there's nothing of value. There's no value. There's, not, there's nothing else. So you claim to have the Holy Spirit. <laughs> what gives? Stop tainting yourself with the world. Stop tainting yourself with the world. You know. Now the family did uphold and take this particular things. That's why today they are still up and strong. But you don't put yourself in a place where now shame reflects back into your family. We can do better. It's the actuality show. Y'all know what it is, and I'll see you later.